Uh, okay, so we played the spine chilling story of school scissors, right? We have we got that under under the, the under the, the, our ability to play video games, right? There's extra curricular activity, quick play, and customize. Probably not. Let's ignore customize for now. Extracurricular activity. This option will prepare the standard skeptic playthrough for you, allowing you to start the game without worrying about in-depth stuff. All right, let's do that. And then it's the same opening. Yeah, this doesn't change. Mm. Oh, this is new. The thing forsaken by God, banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through reflective glass. The glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. Old God's rule, resting at home raises doom. Backstory, world of horror, character exclusive only. I don't know what that means. Uh, first time playing? Not, not technically no, because we just did the tutorial. Big idiot. No, we're not. No one is a big idiot here. No one. Not even you. You're not safe from your own words. Welcome and thank you for trying World of Horror. Inspired by adventure games from the 80s, the visual overload may initially be disorienting. This short, short tutorial, I'll do my best to explain various elements and prepare you to fight the old god. Okay. How do I go next? Continue. This is the main game screen. Here you interact with surroundings. That's the user interface, part of the screen. This is where you manage all your shit. Yeah, we figured that one out. Yeah, RPG stuff. This is where your items are. We figured that one out. Came back to ask not even Fides and it was Fides who said it. <laughs> not even Fides is safe from Fides. You say this came out yesterday? It's apparently it's been in early access for years. According to uh, Panda and Shorts, told me that it was in early access for like forever. Of course it's me. Who else would say it? Officially came out yesterday. Uh, would you like to turn the combat tutorial on? It's start. Oh, I mean, we already did that, right? I'm, I'll leave it on just in case. Never know. Just in case. Uh, so it looks like we don't have the straight razor this time. No spells. No allies. On status. Me? Old god. Tentacles? This is what options? Early access was February 2020. Uh, see that? Is this the one where the guy disappeared and some people got together? What was left and made it official? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know the backstory of the game. No clue. Uh, sub had a stream. I never see notifications. I don't know if sub had a stream. I don't know either. Shadow banned. Everyone shadow banned on the website. White House. The ominous White House has been closed down for longer than you remember. Enter. Multiple padlocks prevent you from entering. You need five keys. I think one of them is already open. I think this E padlock is open already. So we need four keys? Okay. Sure. Let's go back home. I feel that's I feel that's lies. You were bored all day waiting for Nick and you didn't see any sub. I didn't see any uh, sub either right before I got on. Home hardware came in an offline stream triggering your alerts. Oh, I see. <laughs> he streamed Dota on his 2k average viewer account. Damn, submarine attack. Famous Dota 2 streamer. He's waiting for that Dota 3 to come out. <laughs> is that a, is that could that be a thing? Dota 3? I mean, Valve is afraid of the number three, right? Why are you slam? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, someone put a hamster in there? Oh, it's bleeding, actually. It's fucked up. Literally raided himself the other day. Big brain ethon strategy. <laughs> Dude, he siphons all those Dota 2 viewers from the big channels and then all and then shoves them all the submarine attack. Perfect. But his VTube account, where he's a uh, literal baguette that can talk. Uh, how much to see that? 3D baguette? How much how much how much for that VTuber? He's trying to open up that large audience to his real self. Wait until they find out that he's a brony. 
Uh, back in your home, you think of your next move. You're not currently investigating any weird mysteries. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the next direction. Take a bath, watch TV, change clothes. Let's go, change clothes. That's a nice movie poster. She doesn't have a face. She's got, dude, she's got an R-wing. Look at that. She's got like a little R-wing miniature. Hell yeah. Ban, ban, permitted terms, brony. <laughs> Looking good. What kind of uh, outfits can we get here? Plain white t-shirt. What is that, Germany? Germany flag? Schoolgirl with the glasses? I think not. Let's get out of this simulator. Sub, so gonna get partner plus and go flex it on Papa Doug. Isn't Papa Doug, is, is he not partner plus? I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is, he, he brings in enough viewers. No? Damn. Oh, he said it. It's too bad. His partner D minus. Sag, watch TV. Uh, search for a missing person continues in the forest surrounding Shiokawa. If you have any information, please contact the police department. Choose an action. Oh, are these are the actions? Partner Plus needs high naturals. I think it has to be, I think the way Partner Plus has to be is that you can't be prime, right? No primes and no gift subs. So you would need, what is it? 300, 250? I don't remember. Cause it's, it's not, uh, cause it's not subs, right? It's, uh, it's, it's uh, points. And I think a tier five, a tier three prescription sub subscription is what? 25 points, something like that. It's 350 naturals for a few months, yeah. So if he has, if he had enough, if you have enough tier three subs, then you don't need, you know, that many. Yeah, tier two and tier three raise the points. Yeah, a tier two is 10, right? It's 10 points or five points. I think it's five. Oh, it is 350 natural subs, not sub points. Oh, I see. Damn. That's fucking difficult. I don't know. I don't, what's like the, what's the percentage of people that can even get that on Twitch? It's got to be like less than 1%. They, 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 well, the last time they did the average, like this channel was in top eight. It's in like top 8%, like. <laughs> and it's got what, like 12, 13 viewers? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Tier two and tier three factor in somehow. Yeah, it's probably some imaginary number that they made up. Even though they have one, they have a fucking imaginary number that they could just use. <clears throat> no, Nug yeah, no, wouldn't be begging for 44 tier three subs. It's a lot, man. Uh, let's check here. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there's something connecting them. You can tackle those five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decision will haunt you. Oh. Tier three is six and tier two is two. Oh, shit. Yeah, so that's like... It's basically impossible. That's um, that's impossible unless you're pulling thousands of viewers, right? Or have whales that are like spending tons of money. You stopped streaming. You were at a cool five. Must have been hams tier three. <laughs> uh, what do we? What 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 mystery you guys want to see? The rotten report of a rancid ramen. <laughs> rotten rancid ramen. Uh, the far out fable of the fear festival, bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin, or the spine chilling stone. No, we just did this one. We're gonna ignore that one. You don't like anyone enough to drop the tier three? Not even me, brother. What the hell, man? No, I'm, I'm kidding. Don't, <laughs> don't take, don't take that at face value. Me and Ham had mutual tier two exchange. How do I uh, do a poll? Here we go. Ah, uh, you know what? <coughs> rancid ramen? Rancid ramen it is. Let's start. The rotten report of ranc rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town, and it's adored by everyone. Hey, what are, what are these called? Does anyone know? These are fish. This is a fish cake, right? Hey, there's a finger in here. 
<laughs> the finger in this bowl. What the hell? Get this guy out of here. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves with dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his knives. They're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Why would you think that? Dude, imagine like a new restaurant opened up in your town, the first thing that went through your mind is, this man must be selling dog meat. What? Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His, his description makes your stomach churn. Is that just like fish heads inside of the ramen? Dumpster, I discard two item cards to complete. Hmm. Here. Oh, you can't investigate your home. <laughs> Travel the hospital, seaside, forest, mansion. Oh, the forest? Dude, is that the suicide forest? The one where they all kill themselves? Now I can't be monetized on TikTok because I said the word kill themselves. Travel to apartments. It has a big circle over it. It must mean something, right? Hold on, I have a neighbor. Neighbor? You knock on your friend's door and wait. Hey, it's really busy let's hang out some other time fucking bastard just like in real life what's in stored items nothing okay, okay let's investigate the apartments that's a normal thing to be seeing right walking around town woman with no eyeballs bleeding out of every hole that's pretty normal a woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before she can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyeballs. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't see me, right? Looks like a fish concert. <laughs> uh, you shudder, seeing a faint vision of Goizo reflected in the beauty mirror's par par uh, beauty parlor's mirror. Minus two stamina. No, oh, my physical well-being. Gozu. Dang. World of base horror game. Hey, look, there's eyes over here. A lot of creepy stuff in here. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter or leave. How did this just come out? Uh, how did this just come out recently when you saw AKA White Moth playing this? Or was it some variation? When I say I saw you were in their channel for two seconds. Uh, uh, Pan and Short said that this game's been early access since 2020. So, you know, I'm sure they were playing the early access game. Yeah, it's been in early access for a long time. Also, you can get this game on itch.io. So I have a feeling that this game was being de was developed for a very long time before it even got put on Steam. Uh, some dude gouged out his eyes of sh with. Uh, Someone gouged out his eyes of shrooms and was stumbling around the inner arena. Their fall tour has been full of weird shit. What the fuck? You can't control the shrooms. You think it was a game jam? Yeah, I found this game on, like I saw it being for sale on itch.io. So I, I have a feeling that it's been in development for way longer than 2020. Neither Arcus has been horny about this game for a long time. Dude, I only I saw the early access trailer in when we were looking, when me and Panda were looking for like horror games to play during this month and this one popped up and i like forgot about it i put it on the list and i forgot about it and then at the beginning of the week i saw the the release trailer and i was like wow this game looks like fucking this game looks fucking sick we should play this <clears throat> i name dropped as many as you could and you forgot show some respect tyler david kirk oh is, is that what that is is that who that is that's rackus and, and tyler david kirk are the same person i don't know that the lore is real, brother. <laughs> uh, you can see the restaurant through the staircase window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter or leave. Let's... Investigate. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Wired Preacher. 
excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello? Are you still there? Uh, hang up. You put down the phone a little shaken. There's how many people did that odd man call today? Oh man, my mental health fucking telemarketers, man. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. How do I get in? I have to just keep exploring the apartments. Until it, like, pops. Let's see. Ah, the vending machine. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of soda, but you could really use a drink. How much, uh, how do I know how much money I have? Does it say here? What's this? Oh, these are your... I, th I guess this is carrying capacity, so that you can have four spells and you have four items. Let's see. FND is funds. Oh, okay, so I have six money. Let's get a cheap soda. Ah! Dexterity check failure. You buy a can of off-brand soda, and when you reach for something inside the machine, catches your hand. You have to jerk your hand out, injuring yourself. I have a injury. What? Oh man, you've sustained a new injury. Exposed ribs. Oh god, my ribs. <laughs> They're exposed. <laughs> Cthulhu Cola, Yog Saranya. <laughs> Dude, I, I'll take a, I'll take a sip of Yog Saranya. Why not? My, my ribs. So it's really bad for you. I hate when that happens. Yeah, I really hate when I open up a can of Coke Zero and I, my ribs start leaking out. How do I... <laughs> my ribs. What does this mean? Oh, God. <laughs> They're really showing. Dude, minus 20% max stamina? Fuck. That's, a dam that's damage. I can't fix it. I mean, how do you fix exposed ribs on your own? <laughs> my ribs. RC Cola wasn't worth it. <laughs> Dude, I, I knew I should have spent the extra 80 cents on the, on the real thing. Uh, you stand in line for hours. Your questions fall on deaf ears and you're shunned. Dude, the people are crazy. Uh, travel downtown. Police station? Managed threat level. Experience turns into funds. Shop for items? Cost doom to enter. Our doom is at 3%. Yeah, let's try this. Oh! There's a little doggo. Pet the dog. If submarine was in this universe, he'd be a fucking skeleton. <laughs> Dude, I, did you, you missed the first mystery where I showed up in the game. I was a bloated corpse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jay officially likes this game. It's got a, it's got a little shibi. Uh, shopping for items. Available items. Flashlight. A steak knife. Could be useful. Needs a Yakuza card. Energy drink? No, we've had enough drinks today. We have exposed ribs because of it. Meh. Cigarettes. <laughs> Adds one reason and a new status, and they become addictive. Gotta get the smokes. Costs too much, man. Everything's too expensive. Man, inflation really... Fucked over 1980s Shibuya. I, I think we need to get that knife. Uh, uh, discount item? A random discounted item. Needs the Yakuza card. We gotta buy something. What are we buying? Cigarettes? Let's buy the cigarettes. <laughs> buy the cigarettes. Can't imagine being a smoker these days. Pack of cigarettes is like. $20? Surprisingly accurate. Yeah, you walk, in, walk, into a, uh, walk into a corner store, first thing you think about, ah, eh, just buy some cigarettes. That's all I have money for. I don't afford anything else. Um, okay, let's investigate downtown. Oh, investigating shop. Maybe this is it. You've bought a new item. Whoop. I guess it's the Shibi. Intersection interview? Hello, this is Hane Kitamura of Edo TV. You jump a little when the young reporter girl suddenly appears at your sign along with a cameraman. You're doing a report on strange things occurring in Shiukawa in the recent days. Do you know anything about it? Uh, no, I don't know anything. 
No problem, man. See ya. Man? Does that look like a man to you? I don't think so. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... Is that blood? Yes. So I have a feeling that, so I have a feeling that when you're doing that little event thing, it's like calculating if you want to get either an event or a random fight. I guess that's what's happening. Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of the ooh park. What the hell is ooh park? You can cast one spell without paying anything. I don't have any spells. Why do they... Is that me? Hold on. It's the same. There's no difference. You wouldn't be able to tell if my mouth wasn't moving. Don't change. It's me, my Maui statue. Hey, what is this? Oh, that's you. My bad. My bad, I should probably lock that down. I should probably lower this too. Oh shit, we talked about these guys today. You talked about Ma 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 Maui statues? Uh, I'll take one ramen, please. Inuk shooks? Over my head. Owner's grin widens. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Buy the ramen. Suddenly, an empty bottle smashes on the wall behind you. You cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a masked assailant holding a baseball bat. A rioter. She does minus one damage to everything. My mental health. No. Yeah, I have no choice but to follow, follow the... No choice but to follow the, the uh, tutorial. So we'll just kick the woman over and over again. Look at that. It's completely successful kicking. Now I guess it's trying to tell us to get an improvised weapon. So we'll pick one up. And then we'll just go back to kicking her in the head. Oh, I can only kick her twice. Oh wait, we have a broken bottle. That's probably better than... Oh, I think we just picked that one up. Broken bottle. Equip it. I'm sure it's better than kicking, right? Yep. One, one damage better. So now all we do is swing the bottle over and over again. Oh yeah, she held. She's gonna die. She's dead now. Watch this. No chance. Nobody survives a direct bottle of the brain. Learned that one when I was young, in my twenties. Rock man, pick it up. Dude, we found a prescription. To what? The trinket. It's an important document. It's important. Take that, rioter. Yeah. Just fucking bottle the brain. <laughs> yeah, just over and over again. <laughs> you dare threaten my body and, and mental health? I don't think so. Uh, where could you fill a prescription like this? But it's not to my name. I wouldn't be able to hand this one in. Inspect. It's for an expensive pharmacy drug. Hmm. So, hold on, I'm just I'm just in the middle of eating ramen and this rioter comes out of nowhere with a baseball bat and starts swinging. The Red Bull was pushed in your face. It's so and nobody nobody did anything about it. The the owner was just there, blind. Oh, I guess he's blind. But there's like a whole lineup. Doesn't make any sense. The Red Bull is pushing your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. What the fuck? Uh, investigate. Is this in Japan or Seattle? It's in. It's, I'm sure it's in Japan. Their their books are in right to left. Where else would you find those books? Uh, the video store clerk insists you take a look at this weird tape. We're in the middle of eating ramen. What does this video clerk store want? You won't take no for an answer. It's hazy, but you can make out a woman bound by ropes suspended in midair. She's surrounded by hooded figures. Are they cutting her? 
Guys, you want to watch uh, some smut? Oh, what, what's it called when uh, it's like uh, porn that kills the person? What's that video called? What's, what's that type of video called? Does anyone know? Someone, know? someone knows. One of you was degenerate enough to watch some of that. Snuff. <laughs> Everyone apparently is degenerate enough to know that it's snuff. <laughs> uh, watch the tape. Perception check, success. It's difficult to sit through, but you try to focus. Eventually, you recognize a symbol they're carving in her, into her stomach. The cult must have wanted you to see this tape. I'm jerking off to it right now. <laughs> I love it when the blood sprays go into their eyeballs, brother. They contract the AIDS. Minus 5% doom? Oh, we did it. We looked at some woman dying and lowered our doom. With a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out, all without tasting the weird dish. What? Hey, where's all this blood coming from? Also, where's the vial of disgusting degenerate soup? Alright, let's investigate the lab, I guess. <laughs> lab results. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While, hand while handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Uh, just the vial of ramen. Remember, everyone thought Green Inferno was gonna be as bad as snuff films, a retarded movie. I don't know. I don't know what Green Inferno is. I never, ever heard about this one. No idea what that means. Is that also porn disguised as a murder, or a murder disguised as, as porn? It's edgy garbage. A mere day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale, and in a shaky hand, she holds an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel, you feel ill looking at the charts. While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. Oh, fuck. They put meth in the broth. Damn. Is that the retarded liberal college kids that go to save the tribal people and get eaten? Is that a real thing? <laughs> they go to save the tribal people. They don't want to be saved. <laughs> okay? They just want to throw their sticks at you and, and eat you. A week later, police and government officials are looking over where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. What? The ramen, the, the ramen restaurant just disappears? You'd like to believe that was the end of it, but snippets in newspapers from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening and its mysterious owner keep showing up. You can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. Rotten report of rancid ramen. Ending B. Damn, we got the bad ending. B for bad. Right? Fuck. How do you get the good ending? Did it? What? The, do we, then we do everything? We discovered... Well, I guess it's because we needed to exercise the, the the ghost, and there was that we didn't find it. B for baller. Uh, reward, rewards for solving this mystery plus thirty experience. That's good. Minus five percent doom. That's good. Uh, our brain and body made whole. Good. Time passes. A whole day. So, thank you. Okay. Uh, the old god stirs. Click here to reveal its effect. The blood moon. Crimson Moon spotted over Shiokawa keeps everyone on edge. What does that mean? Does that mean anything? All enemies get additional 20 power. That sounds bad. <laughs> that, can't, that can't be good. Let's go back home. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What's it doing in here? Take. Oh. So we have the key to A. So does that mean I can open up the lighthouse? Oh, I can't leave my apartment. How do I leave the? Can I just leave the apartment? I'll oh, get back to town. Here, lighthouse. Okay, it looks open now. All right, so we just need to find these keys. So I guess it's just uh, whenever you do a, uh, whenever you solve a mystery, you get a key associated with that like letter. Like this one was A, so we solved this one. Okay, let's go back. Watch TV. Once a year, a ramen shop appears where there was once an alleyway. The ramen sold inside is made from its former patrons, but can cure any health problem. Wait a minute. Lovecraft Northeast bias is always a lighthouse. Is that true? 
Oh, it's always northeast. The ramen sold is made from former patrons. Why is that being told on TV? You don't have any VHS cassettes to watch. Oh, what is this? Oh, you can just turn the TV on. Interesting. Turn back on. Can I do anything else? Can I call 911? Does anyone have a phone number? Hey, isn't it supposed to just go? How do I, uh... Brother... I guess I can't, uh, wipe it. Okay, that's fine. Let's do this. 867? 5-3. Did it do anything? <laughs> Did I forget how to use a phone? Don't you just type in the number? <laughs> Pretty sure that's how these work. It just looks for the seven digits and it's good to go. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how the phones used to work. You gotta press pound? No, you don't have to press pound. That's a lie. See? It's missing an area code. Are there any area codes in Japan? enough of that oh yeah hold on wait there's another option here where is it take a bath the shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles what temperature should you set it to it's a 1984 yeah 1984 may 1984 vincent we're about to take a shower uh this action requires empty bottle Gross. What is this? Is this for- is this- you can, like, take your fucking bath water and sell it on the black market? <laughs> Gross. Hey, anyone want some gamer girl water? We got tons of it. Lava hot. We can do ha hot. It makes our stamina go up. Perfect. Alright, let's investigate. Let's start another investigation. Which one do we do? I'd make tea thousand percent out of your bath water. <laughs> you're gonna make you're gonna make tea out of your bath water, dude. <laughs> uh oh, these are like the I guess these are the DLC ones, not the DLC, the pet, the ones from the mod pack. That balls deep taste. You put it in your you're gonna put your bath water in your vape. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> imagine, imagine if you were to order something like that and they gave, they, they made you type out a reason and people would actually type it out for the right reason. Yeah, I'd, I'd vape it. I'm going to vape it. <laughs> <It's fucked up. laughs> oh God, it's making me sick thinking about it. Uh, all right. Which one, which one are we starting now? The far out fable of a fear festival or the bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin? Guys, which ones do you want to see? I mean, it's just it's just going to be a lot of text. There's also the uh, school scissors one. We can see the, we can try to get the other ending because we got ending B. Does it show you where your endings are? I guess not. Yeah. Can we level up? No. We need a hundred experience to level. Up. We still have our exposed ribs. We took a hot shower with our ribs hanging out. <laughs> That's fucked up. Shouldn't we go to a hospital for this? <laughs> Yo, my ribs are out. What do I do, brother? <laughs> oh yeah, just wander around town, just bleeding everywhere with that <laughs> fucking broken bottle that you stabbed that rioter with. 
<laughs> bro, that's just good shower. Just sitting, just sitting in the tub. Your fucking inner just leaking out between your ribs. <laughs> uh, all right, let's try this one. Far out fable of a fear festival. Your aunt has sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. I do. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. Yeah, it's a murder bus. Uh, today's goal, explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. <laughs> uh, someone is waiting for you? Or continue. Who's waiting? Uh, just when you thought your stomach... Oh, sorry. A fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Oh, fuck. Lovecraft crab people. Uh, your group has arrived in the village and is currently unpacking at the inn, giving you some time to explore. The festival begins in the evening. To progress this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock. As you learn about the terrible secrets of the village, more actions will unlock. So this is like very different. This is very different from the one that we just did, right? Where we were exploring the city. So that was like a, like a small village that we have to like walk around, I guess. Skip time. Explore the weird village advances the clock. So where's the where does it show the clock? Does it show it somewhere? Maybe again. Maybe it's this. There's like a weird line over here. What? It's me, Mario San. It's in the top left. Oh, is this it? So if I advance the clock, it's gonna go to day one, afternoon, or evening. Not that it matters. Uh, check out your room; it's free. Uh, the inn's room is dusty, like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone's cleaned it since the last festival twenty some years ago. There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. Uh, onsen sounds good. What is that? Onsen? I don't know what that means. Oh, the hot spring feels great. Finally, you can relax a bit, and enjoy the warm water. Plus two stamina. Hell yeah. Wait, it said plus two stamina, but it didn't go up. Or was it? No, it was at 17 when I walked in. It didn't go up. They took it from me. Or it's bugged. Cheaty. Oh, we're in the evening now. Okay, so now we have Enjoy Festival. Your exposed ribs. Oh, fuck my ribs. Oh, man. You have the hole in the side. Oh, God, I forgot about that. The exposed ribs lower maximum stamina by 20%. Uh, if only there was a free healthcare in Japan. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. A few stands are already open, but you can't shake the uh, uh, sh can't shake off the feeling that something is wrong and it's getting late. Look for friends. Do we have any friends? You stumble, she's just holding a shotgun. You stumble into your friend Ryoko. Hey, can you spare some time with me? Plus 4% doom of agreed. Sure. Uh, a new ally has joined you, Ryoko. What do you do? She's a park ranger. She has plus one weapon damage. Can we talk to her? Ryoko smiles faintly. Let go with an X through their head? <laughs> you just kill her? <laughs> it's very easy to forget about the giant hole in your torso. Torso. I don't don't let those bullies call you names like retarded. <laughs> Dude, imagine you just walking around with a hole in your side, just leaking everywhere. Hey, what's what's leaking out of your shirt over there? Oh, just me. <laughs> My intestines. Should those be inside you? 
Uh, explore the weird village. All right, let's explore the real weird village. We got our friend Ryoko. She has a shotgun. What can go wrong? Nothing. Me with the broken bottle. My friend with the shotgun. Can have the McRib anytime you like. You just pull out the rib. They grow back, right? <laughs> uh, Professor Takuchi. Dude, his room is just covered in shit. Look at this. You fucking had acidic diarrhea everywhere. Those, those like diabetes pig people can walk around with maggots and shit living in their legs. I ain't gonna question an open rig. <laughs> Dude, is that a real thing? With diabetes patients with their like dead legs just have maggots living inside of them? That's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. No one answers when you knock at Professor Takuchi's door. It is a real thing? Oh, gross, dude. Is that something that they can't do anything about? Is that something that they can't they can't actually do anything about? You know what I mean? Is that just like the end stage of diabetes and that's when you know the, the leg needs to be chopped off? It costs money. They gotta amputate. Yeah, that's the old, that's the solution. Is amputation? Get get into a get into a, a farm accident and get it lopped off by a tractor. It's the only it's the real solution right there. <laughs> how much do you how much do you pay how much do you pay a doctor for that a, a farmer? You just walk up to a farmer. Hey, how much to amputate my leg, brother? <laughs> Concentrated injection of about 180 grand. Jesus Christ, man. It's fucked up. They can, but you gotta stop being a fat ass. So you gotta lose like 300 pounds first. Dude, I find I find losing 10 pounds impossible. I can't imagine like 300. Fucking Mountain Dew is cheaper. <laughs> Either I amputate this leg or I keep chugging this Mountain Dew. I don't know how anybody can like let it get to that bad, like get it to that bad. I understand if it was like, I understand if it's like a real problem, you know, like if you have some kind of disorder or some kind of medical, like a thyroid medical issue that can't be fixed, you know? But there's some people that just fucking shove McRibs down their throat all day and then they go to it and then they're like, well, I'm off 500 pounds, brother. But I'll do it. Yeah, finish what you started. Yeah. <laughs> you made this mountain. Now you climb it. You don't see it much here in Canada. All our homeless are like 20% cyborgs. They're cyborgs? Because of the healthcare? Now my eyeballs at you again. You lose your leg, but you keep the on dude. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> when you were heavy, you were constantly paranoid about any tingle you felt in your in your toe. Oh yeah, right, because uh, that that's like the... that's It's not the beginning of the end. That's like the uh, first sign of diabetes. For me, it's... Uh, for me, it's when I see things get swollen. It's because my my uh, blood pressure medication is like the wrong dosage or it's the wrong type. Because they, I don't know, I don't know if anyone else has high blood pressure, but like for whatever reason, they keep changing the uh, not the do they don't change the well. I mean, I guess the, the dosage is also changed, but sometimes they'll change the the drug, like the 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 name of the drug, and I keep I, I man I keep forgetting what they're fucking called, but they like they change from like a brand name to a generic sometimes. Right, and because whenever whenever that happens, sometimes I have like a reaction to it, and all my body parts fucking swell. It's really shitty. <clears throat> you can't unmount do what's already been mound done. <laughs> they get a free leg, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Um, the smell of blood tells you something's wrong, and you quickly open the door to enter. There's no sign of the professor, but the quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt. Uh, I don't have the occult skill, so I can't do this. Uh, scavenge room for items. Fuck. Perception check failure. You search the room but can't find anything. The sound of police siren forces you to jump through a broken window and you're injured. Ah, oh, my ribs! <laughs> my ribs! Uh, a weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Hmm, what do we do? Investigate? I mean, we have to, we're detectives. Teen detectives. Let's go. Uh, they all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? I mean, we got our friend with the gun. 
What can go wrong? Let's go. Spore forest. Ah, the abandoned hut. Oh, shit. Shungite? Dude, this guy made a little Shungite pyramid. He put them all around the La Casa. He's, he's blocking out the waves, brother. He's, ma he's making sure the government can't read what he's what he's writing. He got all of his advice from Dr. Disrespect. It's said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. Needs hermits? I don't have one. Tap into his power? We're not occultists. All we have is a pair of cigarettes. All we have is a box of cigarettes and a, a, a filled out prescription for expensive drugs. It's too it's too risky. Disturbed by your surroundings, you take a step back and trip on it. Dude, this this woman is the most clumsy fucker in any video game. Everything she does, but think of the power. Everything she does. <laughs> Mount noise. Listen to me. Everything, everything that she's done. She's like she's broken her ribs. She fell out of a window and scratched all of her legs up. She tripped over a branch and scratched her brain. What? Uh, like everything, everything she does is just wrong. Resolve. How do I get more stamina? What do the cigarettes do? Do they give stamina? No, they give. They adds a new status. Smoking kills. It's, uh, maybe not drink the cigarettes. <laughs> maybe not smoke the cigarettes yet. Scratched her brain, yeah, dude. The the uh, the branch went directly into the ear, kind of like what happened to Prank Monkey with the Q-tip. You guys remember that? She sounds like she needs the help of the old gods, dude. I mean, the old god right now is some fucking mirror entity that we haven't seen yet. Because apparently there's no mirrors. Ah, the trees overhead block the sunlight, and you begin to feel gloomy. Minus two reason. Oh man, our mental health. Good thing we got cigarettes. That'll fix it up keep exploring we're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of the robed figures while wandering through the woods you discover strange carvings on one of the trees and by the look of them they were made recently could they be connected with the mystery he's a cat fuck try to decipher the signs knowledge check failure you can't tell what the strange symbols mean wandering aimlessly in this forest it will take some time before you pick up the trail again oh man our doom went up Going back to the inn, you overhear two mass villagers. They are talking about something awakening at the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that. It's not safe here. <laughs> no, continue. All right, what do we do? Villagers seem to follow your every step. What, was that what he meant by head injury? Yeah, it was a Q-tip. Right in his brain. Pretty sure that's what it was. Either that or... A uh, boxing mishap where he got punched in the head repeatedly. Uh, this is a free action. I mean, okay, hold on. Where's the log? Is there a is there a log text log? I don't want to do that. I think there is. Let's go back to the village. Who would punch Prank in the head repeatedly? Doesn't he do, doesn't he do like boxing? Isn't that a thing that he does? Where he says that he does. An old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon. You're invited to join, do we? Yeah, we have to join them, right? Let's participate in the ancient ritual. <laughs> Knowledge check failure. Distracted by a huge man wearing a demon mask, you have trouble following the intricate pattern of steps, bows, and claps. The ritual is a disaster. Uh, well, you know what? Our trip into the weird village has led to nothing but more holes in our body and a slightly damaged brain. Maybe we should just enjoy the festival and allow whatever happens to happen. Oh, they're still, they're still making it, I see. Never mind. Never mind. Let's uh, continue exploring the weird village. As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze following your every movement. Minus two reason. Who couldn't use a few extra body holes? Dude, they're speed holes to make you faster. Right? Isn't that how that works? You go a little faster? Damn. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Explore, explore festival. Is that... Blood? Oh shit, dude, it's covered. It is covered in blood and diarrhea. What's going on here? 
Today's goal, find the missing people. A trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to the outskirts of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. What is this? Investigating the thicket. Oh, fuck. As you glance around, you notice that more and more people are wearing strange masks, unlike anything you've ever seen before. As you turn to your friends for reassurance, you notice that some also wear eerie masks. Their voices sound muffled and distorted, and you can't shake off the feeling that they're not quite themselves. The hairs on the back of your neck stand on end, and you realize something is horribly wrong. Uh, this can't be healthy. <laughs> that, that's a Nick response. That can't, they, they can't be healthy. What are they protecting themselves against? You take a deep breath and the air around you feels heavy as if it's thick with poison. You cough and your eyes begin to water. Why is too stamina? Ah, oh, ribs! Let's uh, rest at camp. We got plus one brain power, fuck. Investigating this stream. Hmm. A shape shimmers beneath the surface. With a splashy sound, something emerges from the murky depths. Oh god, what the hell is this thing? Leech girl. She does uh, one damage to stamina and reason. The stat defines your chance to attack the power, to attack the enemy successfully. Higher its power, the harder it is. Currently, your chance to hit is lowered by 30%. So that means the bottle only has 70% chance. Oh, it's 40%. Fuck. Barely hit it. I can't even hit him. Order your allies to attack. She's got a. She has a gun, right? <laughs> We're winning. Minus two health. We're, we're winning. I have no idea. She's got six health. Does this work? We're geniuses. Math, the geniuses discovered ancient techniques to killing <laughs> unarmed women in the forest. An abandoned factory. This must be the place where they took everyone. Do we rest first? <coughs> maybe we... Maybe we rest? If, well, I have only two actions left. I mean, the last time we rested, this only gave one reason. Let's go to the factory. Whoa, this guy's got a hole in his head. Or it's a mask. I'm pretty sure it's more of a hole, though. While exploring the factory, you're caught by masked people you've seen from the inn window. After tying you up, they bring you to the cult leader. Uh, we I knew you come. You hear a raspy voice. Your aunt's voice coming from behind the priest's mask. She signals towards the, behind him. Towards She signals towards door behind him. Our master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. I have the struggle command. Struggle? What just happened? With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are the beams of flashlights and the hands of a police officer saving you from falling. Damn. So the cops were embedded in the cultists. Later that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual blood and eldritch being. The village is abandoned with no trace of blood anywhere. You were the only one seeing the ancient horror. What? It was all in her head? Oh, man. Dude, what a, what a twist, man. It was all in the fucking character's head. Or, 
They're very, the cult, the cult, the police are part of the cult. Actually part of it. It's fucked up. It's all in your head. <laughs> Far out fable of a fear festival ending a, a for good. I think while you couldn't catch the leader of the cult to interrogate them, the people are safe. You board the old bus wandering, wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual on time. Sorry experience, thorough investigation plus 15. Uh, there's still hope minus 5% doom. And plus one day. So we got 45 experience out of that. To gain a new level, press the flashing button. You've advanced to the next upgrade level. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Oh, oh shit. Yo, what are we taking? Hot bath. <laughs> we could hot bath is a skill. It gives you improved resting. Folklore studies, plus one knowledge. Discipline, regain one stamina for successful event skill checks. Well, we know for a fact that we don't have discipline because this woman keeps failing all of her event checks. So that's not gonna work. Have, you, have we healed the hole? No, nope. there's still a giant gash in the side of her chest. Exposed, expo what is it, exposed ribs? Oh, we can reroll perks and you get more doom. Interesting. So what do you take? The hot <laughs> improved the improved bathing? <laughs> improved bathing or improved brain? <laughs> you can also do uh an extra an extra stat points. Better bathing. We can also do a, a stat point, but I don't I don't actually know what any of these stats do. Like I like I'm assuming like I, I'm assuming that strength. I'm assuming that strength just makes it so that you do more damage. Dex is probably something to do with like hit chances. But like that's me guessing, right? Oh, we can also like boost our stamina and reason by six. I don't know if that means maximum stamina. <laughs> Bathing in honor of TwitchCon. <laughs> Must smell real bad there, dude. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. It probably smells as bad as like any other con. There was a, um, when I went to Evo, <clears throat> I went to Evo once and there was a guy, there was a, there was a guy in the, uh, like hanging around, hanging around. And he was like waving one of these, one of these fucking deodorant sticks. And he had like a whole, whole pack of them. And he'd be like, yo, who wants free deodorant? If you smell bad, you should be using these and taking a shower every day. <laughs> I wonder if uh, I wonder if that happens at other at other cons. He did. He was doing the work of Christ. <laughs> I heard. I heard that they the last TwitchCon, uh, not TwitchCon. I heard the last Evo they like separated the Smash. Uh, I don't know if it was this one because I think this one didn't have. I think this one didn't have Smash Brothers, right, this year? So they, I heard that the the Twitch, uh, the uh, Evo before that one, they had separated the Smash Brother players, the anime players, and the Street Fighter players. And they had like different like sections of the arena. <laughs> and apparently from what I was told, the Smash Brothers area smelled the worst. And then it was the anime players. It's <laughs> so, like, you could, you could like, you have like a like a visual reference of like who doesn't take showers it's like all the smash players smash players just don't take showers and then after that it's the anime players who probably just use deodorant <laughs> and then you have all the and then you have all the esp the people that are going to be on espn so they like take showers and use deodorant in the street fighter crowd <laughs> it's just good that's just good segregation <laughs> to do that the tournament organizers had like a giant brain when they were trying to figure that one out. It's like, hmm, what do we do here? Let's, um, I don't know. Charisma? Knowledge? Our knowledge is looking a little weak. I don't know if this heal, you know what? I'm, I'm curious to see if this heals it. This is like a throwaway, this is a throwaway run anyway, right? This is like our first run. I'm not I'm not expecting to win. Let's see what happens if I take this stamina. It heals it, okay, so it makes it go up. 
it just heals it. <laughs> but it doesn't like, I guess it doesn't increase. Maybe there's no maximum. Maybe because of our broken ribs, it's like preventing it. Exposed ribs. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Go to a hospital. <laughs> uh, was that your commemorative Evo deodorant? No, that, that drawer always has either a uh, wolf thorn or the, uh, what's the other one? The old, the other old spice thing. It's like the one with the bear on it. I forget what it's called. Uh, Heart of Darkness, the imposing shadow cast by the old lighthouse is getting longer each day. The imposing shadow by the lighthouse. The lighthouse gets an additional floor. What does that mean? Lighthouse? Oh, well, we can't do anything. We don't have a key. But if we go home, there's probably going to be a key in the mailbox. Yep. I'll take the key. So now we can leave. Go to lighthouse. Enter lighthouse. Slot this key in. Unlocked, baby. Did it. Two of four. The fucking mailbox is still is still going. You could leave something to charge. An 84? What are you charging in 84? Light switch, nothing happens. What? Is this the roommate? Is this like the roommate that lives here? Why does she look all fucked up? What's wrong with her? Anything in here? Take a peek through the peephole. Fucking. She's got, she's got fucking creeper neighbors, dude. <laughs> Who's on TV? The TV host is gutting a big octopus. At least that's what she claims. There's too many tentacles. Yeah. Put on your Daisy Dukes. <laughs> this Wuss Wolf's neighbor? Oh, he's not there anymore. All right, let's take a shower. We have the hot bath skill now, right? We need, uh, where's our stamina? Status? He's still there. Let's uh, make our brain bigger. Oh, it heals it by one. Daisy Duke, where are they at? The sold sign's been up for a month. Oh, he sold he sold his house. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. That's interesting. That's good, right? But it could also be bad. You might get equally perverted neighbors. Probably just my imagination. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's do the the scissors one. Let's see if we can get the, another ending. Uh, investigate. We already know the story of this, right? <clears throat> this thought has crossed your mind. So when my when my uh, parents when my parents were living uh, in the in where they were when I moved out, right? They were always complaining about their neighbors. So they've been like they were trying to you know find a place that didn't have neighbors that they were constantly finding annoying for a very long time. So eventually they find something in the middle of nowhere and the name, but they, they still have neighbors. It's still a suburb, right? So they still have like neighbors on the sides. And, um, the first like two weeks they were like, man, this place is amazing. And then immediately right after every other day they would call and be and they would just complain about their neighbors. And I was like, you know, every place that you've ever lived, your neighbors have been a problem. Could it be that it's just you? <laughs> Could it just be you? That's the problem. But I don't think it is because I, I I've gone to their place and like slept over for the weekends, and holy shit, dude! They're the neighbors that they have now. Holy shit! I've never seen I've never seen people so annoying before. We would like I would go sit outside. I would go sit outside in their backyard on the on the uh, on the on their you know on their terrace in the back or their patio in the back. And uh, I would just be like watching something on my phone. And anytime, anytime those, that fucking neighbor on one of the, I don't remember what side it is. I think it's on the right. So uh, this, this side of their neighbor, whenever that fucking asshole 
heard any amount of noise coming out of that backyard, dude, he would come out and he would just start slamming his recycling bin, like closed, like open and closed. And he would just slam it over and over and over again. I was sitting outside and I wanted to sit, I'm like, and my dad told me about this happening. And I was like, that's a, uh, I think you're being a little like fucking over dramatic. Like nobody, nobody is that crazy, right? And uh, dude, I was, I sat there listening to this, the thing on my phone. And uh, I, I, I like, I just wanted to, I wanted to see how long it was going to take for this guy to stop. Dude, he was doing that for 45 minutes. 45 minutes just slamming open and closed his recycling bin door and i was like and i'm like and my dad came back home because uh, i think he like drove his uh, he drove my mom to like a uh, uh, grocery store or something so they come back home and i was like dude your your neighbor like you weren't joking like he anytime you make any noise in the back he like goes in the back and starts doing something to make you stop and then at and then we were having dinner <laughs> i would have made him do it longer <laughs> No, he stopped. He stopped on his own. I was still, I was just watching outside on, I was like watching YouTube or whatever outside. And then we were, and then we were making dinner. So my dad starts, he opens up the barbecue and uh, right away, the second that my dad stepped outside to turn the barbecue on, the guy came, the neighbor came outside and turned on his uh, weed, uh, not, sorry, not the weed whacker, the, the leaf blower. And he just, he was just, he was just leaf blowing the same, like two, like the same two by two area, like a small little square in front of his patio. And he was just doing this the entire time that my dad was outside. And I was just like, this guy's crazy, right? It's not, so it's not, it's like not just my parents make, like making an over, like an overbone reaction. Then we ate and then we started eating outside. So me and my, me and my dad, we're, uh, we're both loud people, right? So we start talking. So me and my dad are, are talking outside and dude, the guy next door was like mimicking us as we were talking to his wife. So like we were sitting, me and my dad were talking and my mom would like, you know, she would like throw in uh, like interjections or whatever. And he would see, he was sitting there just Im mimicking us in like broken English. And so I like, I looked over and I was like, Hey, do you find our conversation interesting? You want to like come over and hang out with us? And the guy like ran back inside with his wife. <laughs> my dad was like, no, don't do that. Like we're trying to like keep the peace. And I was like, no, stop being a pussy. Like, what are you doing? This is like not, this is not like you at all. Like I learned my, like I learned how to deal with people from you and you're not doing it. Like what the fuck? <laughs> the, guy, the guy clearly has fucking problems. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, where your dad is coming from. Yeah, the thing is, the thing is that I, like I'm making, I'm making, a, I'm making like uh, making light out of the situation, but my dad has to like live next to him, right? Exactly, he has to live there. So he's, he's like worried that he's going to get like retaliation or whatever. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay. I have, um, I have an idea of what we're going to be doing. I want to summon the monster immediately without any of the material. Takahashi, you hear a chippy, a chipper voice shout during a jog around the area. Why are you jogging around the area? You turn your head to see another one of your teammates in casual clothes, smiling. Plus, fully unaware of everything going on. What's up, Captain? Have you noticed anything strange? Charisma check failure. She shakes her head, throwing up her hands in a shrug. What makes you ask? Is something wrong? You tell her not to worry about it too much. You part way shortly after that. Let's do a perform ritual. Oh, the ritual is not ready, so we can't actually even start it. Uh, so I guess what that means is you need to find at least a chalk. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors is open on its own. This was from the trailer, the 1.0 trailer. All of the, um, the window had a demon inside of it and all the doors closed. So let's close the door, see what happens. You walk to the door and try to close it, but something is blocking it. When you look up, you see a ghostly pale hand holding the door. Prepare for combat. You back off from the toilet as the door slowly opens. A girl in a tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists unnaturally as she makes a roaring, rattling noise. A door behind you slams shut. Whoa! What's in the wrong with her? Toilet ghost. Uh, I think you need to use these. I'm 
surprised it's not telling me how to use this. Clap, a part of a ritual. Most combat rituals are a combination of five bows and claps. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. So I can clap, I can bow, I can pray, which call, it uses one stamina and gives you two reason. You can leave an offering, burn a material offering and attempt to appease the ghost, dealing, dealing six damage. And then this one I can't do. And then there's sever their ties to our world, deals three damage. <clears throat> but it doesn't say like it has a hit chance or anything. I guess it just does six damage. Or three, sorry. I mean I guess we I guess we try this, right? Bow. What happens if I just do five of these? Five? Does five. Okay, so we don't need we don't need that. Uh you clap. Toilet ghost sucks reason out of you. Toilet ghost starts twitching. Nothing happens. You think you got one ritual move right. Okay, so out of the five bows, only one of them is a bow. So there's six, there's four claps. So if we do this, uh, uh, sorry. Oh no, it's one clap, man. So there's one clap and then there's gonna be four bows. So if we do this, long sequence. Toilet ghost flies through your body. You can feel your sanity leaving with her. But it doesn't do any damage, or maybe it did do damage, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if you're taking damage or not, because it doesn't, like, really tell you. <laughs> Nothing happens. You think you got three ritual moves right. So that means the clap is in the wrong spot. Fuck, man. My brain power. Ah, there we go. Successfully exercised. All we needed was a little faith. You defeated the toilet ghost. Plus eight experience. Corpse dust? Hell yeah. What does that do? <laughs> it's an occult item. It gives you 20 experience? And minus two luck? Where's our luck? Where does it where does the track look? Maybe we need to smoke the cigarettes. We're running out of brain power. Smoke it. Let's do it. You've gained new status. Nicotine rush. What's this do? Minus one cigarette each investigation. All combat actions are faster. It's a mental curse. <laughs> Does any any smokers in chat agree that a cigarette nicotine rushes are mental curses? You still don't have any spells, right? Uh, we need the chalk. Who's this guy? <laughs> what is? There sure are. <laughs> oh, what is going on over here? Something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors lurk here. Uh, I mean, eight dexterity. Try to sneak around. Damn, the clap of our ass cheeks alerted the guards. You raise your head in time to see Ath Yolazisht, single eye glaring down at you. You scream as your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge and your skin is etched with ancient runes and curses. Fuck. Plus 20 experience, though. Plus cursed. Cursed signs. Casting spells raises doom. Okay. Charred skin forms weird signs. Alright, so don't... <laughs> let's not cast spells. 
Let's just let's just stay away from 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 magic for now. Oh, you know what we can do? We can use the corpse dust and level up again. Oh, you really gonna hit me with the 99 experience? <laughs> they really they really slapped me with the with the one experience off the level up if I use the corpse dust. Fuck. All right, we we have the blessed chalk. Let's uh, draw the the sigil. We're gonna draw it incorrectly. Let's just make sure it's wrong. When's diary? Do we have any? Do we have anything else that'll like raise our reason before I do this? I guess not. Eh? Oh, it changed the portrait too. Look at this. It has like the. It has the marks on her face now, <laughs> or uh, the sigil marks. Okay, the, the sigil is drawn correctly. Let's mess this up a little bit. Perform the ritual. The ritual's not ready. What if the ritual's ready and the holy candles are not ready? It's got a thing in the lower right. Probably this. So you need the candles too. So maybe if you have the candles and then draw the sigil wrong. That's fucked up. Violin Concerto. The music hall where students compete to go to nationals is abnormally full today. A young violinist is giving off is giving a staggering performance in front of a committee and an amazing crowd. Is it your friend? Appreciate the show. Dude, perception check success. The rarest of success, uh, the rarest of checks. I sit down to appreciate the performance. It's warmth given, give you the strength to go forward. Once the performance finishes, your friend waves at you. She seems happy to see you around. Plus two brain power. Hell yeah. Uh, just keep exploring the school. We need to find the candles. You stumble upon the computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database. Damn. Failure. Our brain power that we just got back. Fuck, man. You find a curious folder containing photos. With rising horror, you discover that you're in every one of them. The last photo shows a smiling man standing over your bed. Damn. Dude, that'd be fucking scary, right? You're checking, you open up, like, a random computer on your school and you find photos of yourself on it. How fucked would that be? I had no choice but to like finish the ritual. I didn't want to do the sigil. I wanted to do the wrong one. Am I beautiful? Yep. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to die. I don't want to like end the run just to see another ending. You smoke a cigarette on your way. Thanks. What are these uh, defensive actions that we have? Meditate. You can't run from this encounter. That doesn't even do anything. Dodge. You dodge the attack. Okay. Maybe that's the maybe that's the plan. So you start with dodge and then you go in for the stab. Strong stab? How much is the percent? You need to use this one. You need to use the thing that makes it so that it's guaranteed. Because the the hit percent is fucked. Look at this, 44%. I'm not flipping a coin. You oh man, you feel your cheeks split in half. You've sustained a new injury, split mouth. Look at this. 
like changed her face to. So what does a split mouth do? <laughs> minus one charisma, minus one strength. Smile. <laughs> it's a minor injury, guys. If this happens to you, it's considered a minor injury. My face! Dude, our character is fucked. A ribs are ri exposed ribs. Cursed signs all over our body. This should kill it. Yes! We used math to our advantage. We got the same ending. It's the same as before. We find our friend. We find our friend. She has her face cut up. <laughs> Scissors woman is gone for good, or is she? You shudder, knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to, so to try and summon the Eldritch Being. Your rewards. Plus 30 experience, plus 15 experience, minus 5% doom, a little bit of healing, and a day passes. Oh god, stirs. There's something wrong with the tap water. It's black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's just temporary. Contaminated water. You can't regain health between mysteries. Oh man, our hot bot our 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 hot bath water skill, dude. <laughs> what was the point? <laughs> Fuck. All right, let's uh, let's level up. We got a new skill. Art knowledge plus one perception, leadership plus one charisma, and discipline plus one stamina. I wonder if uh, the 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 bane on healing prevents like reason healing, or if it's only stamina healing. Let's get uh, art knowledge because uh, we we have art knowledge in real life, right? We have, we have actual art knowledge. And then... I have a feeling we should probably boost reason because it's looking a little low. It's too bad. It's too bad that my, like, every time I get to this point, it's, uh, my health bars are too low. And I can't, like, just, f like, flat raise a strength, like, a perk. Oh. So that worked. Watch TV. We're shocked by what she did. Her voice was always so calm. That's probably the uh, crazy scissors lady. Think about. They didn't fix the water problem. It's black and oily. In no way you're gonna wash yourself in that. We can't even take a bath. Damn. We have one mystery left. The bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Bloody brief of Beckoning Bolton. As the, as the decades roll on, technology is only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to a bulletin system, or even host one of their own. You guys, you remember bulletin board systems? BBS? Download all kinds of shareware games? Once you connect, you can read all the messages on the bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Any use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, the things are all, aren't all fun and games. The idol culture? In the 80s. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people all be driven to take their own lives? Damn, it's a murder cult? Along with, uh, along with, uh, WinMX. Even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that it can connect to. Maybe the school library? Oh, look at this. There's a side quest here for forest suicides. Investigate the forest location twice to complete this quest. How do I... Uh, oh, here. Travel the forest. Let's do that. Why not? Needs a flashlight. Fuck. We should have bought that flashlight instead of the cigarettes. God damn it, Mountain Noise. It's all your fault. Should have bought that flashlight from the ship. From the ship. Sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave walls. Oh, check success. 
You recognize the strange symbols and connect them to the horrors plaguing your town. Plus five experience. Hell yeah. So uh, that's uh, how much uh, experience do I have? Oh, 50. Not enough. Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble on a small forest shrine. It's probably dedicated to some local spirit. The small statue looks alien and menacing. Uh, what do we do? Pray or destroy it? What would you guys do? Looks menacing. <clears throat> you gonna destroy it? Pray. <laughs> I'm getting mixed signals, boys. <laughs> That's who got it first. Luck check, failure. You topple the evil looking statue. Nothing seems to happen, but you have a terrible feeling. Plus 5% doom. Our doom. Uh, after searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. Plus one item. Forest, forest note. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The, light, the sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Share death and that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you, so if you lose your, your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, here, perfect. Dot, dot, dot. Ex my thoughts exactly. Let's shove this back in our storage. How much money do we have for? Can we go to the store? Is it this downtown? Oh, here it is. Shop for right. Let's go hang. Let's go hang out with the dog for a little bit. <laughs> what do you got, dog? Dude, he's got he's got a suture kit. You know what that means? Our exposed ribs. It doesn't say that it heals. Um. It doesn't say that it heals uh, the wounds. Compass plus two experience for each investigated location. Oh, that's cool. The steak knife is like as probably as good as the broken bottle. Camera one knowledge flash combat action adds chance to, to damage dodge incoming attack. A random discounted item. Let's uh, let's do let's use this restock thing. Let's see what that's those. So it increased our doom, but it like made new items. The only one new is the cigarettes again. How many, uh, but like, how many cigarettes do I still have? Does it say? None, right? Because I don't have any in my inventory. <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> I guess we're buying the cigarettes again. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the school. A weird bubbling sound lures you to the dark shower room. On the floor, on the floor, you find a swimsuit thrown over a grotesque leathery coil. Hold on, that's not coil. Ugh, she's melting. Drain swimmer. Did she does two stamina damage for every hit? That's fucked up. All right, smoke the cigarettes. She's a what is that animal? She's an animal type. Why does why does my friend suck? She's got a shotgun and she does less damage than the broken ball. Got one hit. Smacked her once, and then she punched me for two two stamina damage. What's 
this is bar. How come I can't do this uh, again? So there's only 48, then I can't do this again? Can I only do two two attacks? Is that why? I don't know. I don't. Under, I don't understand this uh, timer thing. I don't know why it's like preventing me from using some things. Oh God, my body. Probably should have been doing that from the beginning. Probably should have uh, thrown in those dodge steps from the beginning of the fight. I would have uh, suffered so much rib damage. My ribs. While the school's library computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arranged to meet at her home in the city. Sure. Let's go. What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this guy? Pair, the pair has been following you since morning. You finally managed to lose them, but you can't shake the feeling that it will only get worse. Just, just a random guy in a mask. You, you lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up to your apartment. Teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. <laughs> True. God. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know anyone who you can trust anymore. I got a curse. I mean, I can't be any more cursed than I am. For I'm riddled with curse. Mind wipe. Minus 100 experience. What? I can... That's fucked up. Minus 100 experience. You know what? It's the last. It's the last uh, thing. Maybe we don't do this right away. It's the last. It's like the last event, dude. A th dude, minus a hundred experience. It's like literally prevents you from leveling up, right? Like that's how that works. Unless you lose three reason. Look, I'm at negative. I'm at negative thirty-two experience. You wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your room. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in your other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. So uh, let's use our computer. Someone has sprayed, spray painted all surfaces of an elevator. Black lines don't seem to make any recognizable shape. Elevator itself appears to be working just fine, but something about the art makes you feel uneasy. It's um. Take the stairs. Take the stairs. Thinking about this weird case of vandalism. But I was in the apartment. Why would I need to take the stairs? Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there has been, the hospital is in chaos. The staff look exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down into the desk for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridor. I have to travel to the hospital. Uh, I gotta be right back. Give me, give me a second. Let's just go here.
Sorry about that. Little, uh, little, little case of indigestion going on. Whoa! Oh, you son of a bitch. Dude, if you fucking out tab and you go back in, it jump scares you. Asshole. Wait, where were we? Uh, the hospital, right? Okay, let's go to the hospital. Investigate. Uh, you're stopped by a, ma a masked man wearing a lab coat. And Joseph introduces himself as a researcher from the Tokyo University, testing a new treatment method that promises to revolutionize modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you he can heal your wounds for free. You just need to sign here. My wounds. Hold on. Isn't there like a town effect that I can't heal? Oh, you can't regain health in between mysteries. Except. Later, you wake up in the abandoned surgical ward within the old part of the hospital with a nasty new wound. The doctor is nowhere to be seen. Another injury. Uh, uh a mangled hand. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Dude, this, this poor woman, man, <laughs> Jesus, it's all fucked up. Attacking in combat deals one stamina damage to yourself. I think this is, I think this is it. I think we're, I think we're fucked. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently she's recovering at her home, her grandparents' home. You guys also will make your way to the nearest bus stop. Let's go check, she let's go check Sheba. Please tell me you have something to, like, just heal <laughs> injuries. Oh, look at this. Deals 8 damage to ghost-type enemies. That doesn't matter, you can just, like, fucking pray, right? Uh, let's get the random item. Random discounted item. A bottle of milk. Perfect. Drink up. Hold on. Tasty milk. Hey, we have an empty bottle now. Hmm. Container can be used to store liquid. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Take a nap, buy a coffee, jog around the block, or hot bath does wonders. The thing is, is that I don't know if this hot bath is going to work. This, I have a feeling, is because of our skill, our hot bath skill. But the water is like sludge right now, right? Let's try it. Oh, it worked. You certainly know how to rest and recover. Plus two stamina, plus two reason. Nice. Wasn't a complete waste. As you pull into the village bus stop, a new story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students leapt in front of a train hand in hand. Oh, fuck. Dude, they're like part of a mass murder cult. You move, you move urgently as you, as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. Okay, village... Following a weird light, you enter an abandoned village building. The whole room is illuminated by countless paper lanterns in many colors. One lantern, however, begins to get closer. Whoa! Human lantern. He's a, he's a ghost. What was, uh, does anyone remember what the... I wonder if it's the same combination. Ad break ends in 30 seconds. Fuck you. Okay, let's try this. Let's just try this again. At Vincent. Uh, come. Why are you coming? JC, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? You think you got one ritual move right? I wonder if it's the same thing. Bow, 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 bow. Nope. Clap. Bow. Mm. 
I've defeated the human lantern. You find the girl's house. Her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, your, her grandfather says as he leads you to the bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. Targeted fun? Dude, you can't have targeted fun, all right? Not in this house. You know what we're going to do? We're at eight experience. Let's uh, heal that brain damage with our brain power. Where is it? Mind wipe. Let's get rid of this mind wipe thing, right? So this is going to cost us our reason. But now we should be able to level up. Look at that. A new skill, JC. A new skill. Quick thinking. Ice nasty piss fresh. Jay, is that you? <laughs> Jay? Hello? Uh, discipline. Regain one stamina for all successful event skill checks. Smaller doom penalty. Nope. Plus one dexterity. Okay, let's get discipline. Discipline, and we're going to recover our stamina. We're going to recover our stamina because whenever we deal damage, we get punched in the head because of our fucked up hand. Right? Because, we, we, because of this hand, we, every time we fight, this hand fucks us up. Uh, there we go. Investigate village. New skill, Tiddly Winks Mastery. The investigation is starting to take a toll. You start to miss the most obvious leads, add more doom. Fuck. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me. Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. Whoa, what the hell is this? They're living in a simulation. <laughs> you stand in the middle of the field, frozen in terror. A rip in our reality shows the horrible future of our planet. Seeing the familiar figure looking back at you, you can't help but wonder if it's our world. If it's our world, that's an illusion. <laughs> Question your sanity or enter the portal. <laughs> I mean, we got to go through it, right? <laughs> we we got to see what's on the other side, right? Let's do it. You and the figure get closer to the portal, ready to swap places. Where are you? Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. We're in the boreal expanse. The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. Oh, this is, uh, uh, Antarctica, right? This is where uh, Cthulhu sleeps. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Move towards the pyramid. Strength check failure. Frozen guard corpses watch you silently as you cut yourself from the razor sharp edges of the ice. Added another injury. I think it's this one. Frostbite? Nope, it's not frost. Car cut artery. Minus one stamina each investigation. Fuck off, man. Find John Carpenter's the thing. Uh... So I guess you, we walk towards the portal and the portal, or sorry, we walk towards the pyramid and the portal closed on us. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the hand, the handset onto the modem. Your heart, your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone and then it finally connects. That's the computer. Uh, on screen, it says, welcome home. Did you like it so far? Yes or no? No? Yes? Yes? No? I don't know what it's asking here. Did you like it? I mean, no. The dam the amount of damage that my brain and body has suffered. Yes? I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. 
You soon understand they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Can you... And thank goodness that severed artery is an urgent problem. Do you not see that we have exposed ribs? <laughs> We're also currently suffering from horrible frostbite, this fucked up hand, and our mouth is cut in half. Also, we have cursed signs imprinted on our face. I think there's quite a, quite a bit of problems going on right now. Uh, everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence. <laughs> How old is she? Is she on Tinder? The epitome of health? I don't know. It doesn't say the age. Does it? I mean, the status page is just a list of her fucking ailments. You. I think that means me. Not you. Yeah, it doesn't say. I think they're all in college. I think every single one of these characters is in college. It's only listed on the character select. Yeah, so you have to do like a custom character or whatever. Baby got a limp, I'm down, dude. <laughs> a little bit more than a limp. Frank Monkey gets hurt worse than <laughs> worse getting his DoorDash. <laughs> Him waking up in the morning. <laughs> a list of ailments right after. They're all about between 18 and 24. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We bring all humanity together. You need to think carefully how to respond. Suffering is human. You can't save everyone. I don't want to die. Dude, suffering is human. That's a good answer. Do that one. Surf suffering is human. How can you believe that? Well, okay. If you want to suffer, go ahead. If your conscious, your consciousness dips. By the time you snap out of it, you're struggling. You're strangling yourself with a phone cord. The entity assaults your mind, but the struggle to bring brings out strain you didn't know you had. You refuse to die. Minus five stamina, plus fifteen percent max stamina. Nice. My stamina. You listen to the staticky signal on the other end. It's harsh to your ear, but then the noise begins to slowly change into something beautiful. You want to join it. <laughs> We're fighting the modem. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that what's going on over here? It's something new. <laughs> Dial up internet. <laughs> Is that, that what we're fighting? We're fighting the modem? What kind of an enemy type is this? Like everything together. So this is like the soul. I guess this is the, the soul of every like sacrificed human. AOL 3.0 finally getting what it deserves. Oh fuck. Uh, uh, so it's not a go it's not a ghost because we're allowed to fight it. So this corpse dust doesn't do anything for us. Prescription doesn't do anything. The empty bottle doesn't do anything. I guess we just got to fight it. We'll do the we'll do the old the old reliable. We'll dodge, and then we'll do some boosted attacks over here. Maybe we can do a strong attack too. No. I missed both both hits, and my mangled hand took that took me one of my damages out. Can't fill the bottle with water and dump it on it, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Let me just piss in this bottle real quick. Throw it, enemy. Throws the enemy at the enemy. Throw it. Boom. My, <laughs> minus four health. <laughs> Did it. Can we throw the prescription at the enemy? Take your drugs. That doesn't do anything. I think we just gotta keep. We just gotta keep fighting it. I'm gonna die first. I think this is the problem now, right? I think this is the problem that every turn I'm taking one damage because I'm activating an attack. And if it if I don't dodge, I take one stamina damage. And I can only do. I do eight damage per turn. Hmm. 
is this do? Oh, I can't use it. I think I have to do this. I don't. I don't think I have a choice. I have to like dodge, and then hope that one of these hits. <laughs> it's all over soon. I don't think we're going to survive this. I think this is it. I think this is the end of our run. What do the drugs do? I don't have drugs. It's a prescription to drugs. <laughs> I should have, I should have filled them. I should have went to the hospital and filled them out. It says that they were like expensive drugs. I never went to go. I never went to go see what they were. And the corpse does is uh, does damage to ghosts. Or you can eat it and get experience, but I can't level up off of it. Hit him with the abstract concept of a prescription. <laughs> you can imagine you just throw, you just throw, you just throw the prescription at him. Take that! Fuck. I dodged. He did it. We just need to keep doing that. I think if we just keep doing this sequence. Where we guarantee one of these hits. <laughs> and then we just hope that we don't take any damage. So he's at 14. He does one. I think we have two turns left at best. Or at worst, I think it's two turns. I don't know if there's like a better way to do this. That hits, that missed. Maybe we just guarantee strong hits. Oh, I think this is it. I think we actually just won. Did it. Ancient, <laughs> ancient entity possessing a modem. Defeated. Right on the brink of our character's death. You wrenched a phone from your ear, nearly tossing it across the room. You could have killed yourself for that thing. Sweat pouring down your face, you immediately yanked the computer's plug from the socket. From the bulletin, from the, from the bulletin's number and a phone book, you find the system operator's address. When you enter the cramped apartment, you're met with a smiling, hanged teenager and a still running, unplugged computer. You smash it to pieces. With the root cause gone, the suicides eventually slow. While you couldn't save those already in its thrall, you're relieved to know the bulletin won't take any more new victims. Bloody brief of beckoning bulletin ending B. Uh, bad ending. Hmm. So maybe that's because we took too long to solve the mystery and it killed too many people. Cause even though I guess we saw like we, we prevented the guy from killing more people, right? That's which is good. Or at least you think it is. The old God stirs. The friendly dog disappeared last night. You'll have to find a new place to buy an equipment. No, she be no. Uh, let's take a ba Oh yeah, right, you can't- we can't take a bath. It's currently sludge. Let's go check the lighthouse. Let's put in the last keys, enter the lighthouse. We don't have any- we don't have any money left, right? Oh, we have one fund. If I- Go here. Uh, there's nothing left, right? Like these are all solved. Oh, what's this? oh you have to do the layouts. I see. 
Well, we can't we can't rest. The TV has never been anything on it. I'm not even gonna like bother checking. Enter lighthouse. You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things, that whoever or whatever is behind the weird events, you must be on the highest floor of this place and that you should run away. You're afraid there won't be any, uh, there won't be a way back once you start climbing. Can I actually leave? No way, eh? I'm like stuck here. I hope there isn't a plague, a plague of lighthouse keepers. <laughs> So I, so I, I, like, I can't actually leave the lighthouse anymore, right? I'm, like, stuck here. Rest. Ooh, dude, we're fucking dooming up. I don't know how much of this is, like, a bad idea. Let's stop at 60. Start climbing. You're losing blood. Seek help. <laughs> My blood! Following the winding staircases, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by the numerous glass shards and knives. You manage to look at the door while avoiding the knives. With a buzz, the gate opens. Oh, now you're losing blood. Yeah, the exposed ribs, the mangled hand, the cut face. None of that mattered. Oh, the, on the artery, the severed artery. <laughs> none of that mattered. You're losing blood! My blood! It has to be on the inside, not the outside. Why am I losing blood? Oh, from probably from one of these many from one of these many physical ailments. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? It's probably this. The minus one stamina each investigation. So every time I'm I'm clicking the button to go further, it's doing one damage to me. The face bleeds a lot because the capillaries are so close to the surface. Oh shit. I love being an informative stream. Thanks, so dazed. What's up, man? We're uh, solving Eldritch horrors. Uh, salt, I'm sorry. We're killing Eldritch horrors to solve Eldritch mysteries. Following the, uh, hold on, did I do this already? The tiny page nailed to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Using your own body as a natural conductor, you will power up the gate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not enough knowledge. You grab the rods, electricity flowing through your body and burning the nerve endings. The pain is almost unbearable, but with a buzz, the gate opens. Minus three stamina. Good thing we rested all that, all that time. Uh, you find a metal gate. The cable is disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird, <laughs> moist goo. Inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch. But to, to power the gate, you'll need to disconnect a faulty plug. Disconnect. Strength check failure. Not enough strength. You're surprised at how much effort it takes to disconnect the plug. As you force it, the weird goo burns your fingers. Also, just just so that you guys remember what my fingers look like. They look like that. Oh no, sorry. They look like that. <laughs> They're uh character's a little fucked up. <laughs> I like how your friend's just standing by you with her shotgun. Yeah, she's doing nothing. It, she does less damage than the broken bottle. Uh, finally, you manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the, the power cable with a buzz. The gate opens. Minus three stamina. I think she's going to die on the way up. I don't think, I don't think we're going to survive the way up. Following the winding staircase, you are stuck. Wait a minute. Someone has, take, has been taking photos focused on you. The photos include enemies you fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't precisely say what. Select the second enemy you fought this run? The second enemy? Well, we fought the one of the woman. Did we fight something before the scissor? No, the scissor woman was at the end. The bloated guy? Was he the first one? Fuck, I don't remember. Was it the rioter? It's not the leech girl. Leech girl was at was uh before the was in the school with the scissor woman. Or was that the toilet ghost? Fuck, I don't remember. Rioter? Rioter. Wrong answer. Your head starts to hurt. Is everything just something you've imagined? The photos disappear and so does the door. Five plus five percent doom. Fuck. The second enemy ever fought? That's fucked. How is that anyone supposed to remember that? Following the winding staircase, you're stop hold on a minute. I think it was the leech. Fuck. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all your clues and newspaper clippings, and pinned them here. 
The more you study them, you ex you discover you can't remember, except for one of them. So like the title of the second mystery you investigated. We did the ramen first, right? And then we did the fear festival. This, the last one we did was this one, was the brief, bloody brief. Because this was the internet. Toilet for, yeah, so this was the first one. And then we did this one third. So it's this one, fear festival. Correct answer. You rip the newspaper clipping of a case you seem to remember. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it and the gate opens. Take a little bit of experience. Oh shit, we leveled up. Hold on. Quick level up. We can recover our stamina. Perfect. Outdoorsman plus one luck. Too late for that. Fast swimmer. Faster offensive actions. Probably good. Let's do that one. Fast swimmer and more stamina. Thank you. Our bleeding is stalled for one more hour. Following the winding staircase, you're, draw you're stopped by darkness. A thick black cloud is obscuring your vision and you can swear something is waiting for you inside of it. Fuck, we should have bought that flashlight from the sheep. Fuck, man. That's the second time I got fucked by the cigarettes. Let that be a lesson to you, chat. Cigarettes bad. Unless it doesn't count the intro. I, I don't know. Well, I don't think it did. Because the intro, the, we did. We finished the intro and we got the credits right after it. God damn it, Mount Noise! <laughs> Continue climbing. You decide to brave the veil. You finally emerge a while later, safe. You can't, however, explain the blasphemous whispers you heard. Dude, they were talking about the monster energy drinks. That's, that's the blasphemous whispers. Oh, it's Goizo. The dark s clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? New achievement unlocked. I can click the mirror. Okay, before we click the mirror, can we do anything? The, the corpse dust, what does this do if I use it? It eats our luck, but it gives us experience. So this doesn't mean, this doesn't do anything for us. The prescription's a waste of time. And I don't have any spells, right? I have no spells. I have an ally with a shotgun that doesn't do anything. I guess we just, we activate the mirror. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. Yo, we did it. Investigation concluded. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening the Eldritch Old God, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right once more. Congratulations, you're safe for now. You beat the tutorial. Yeah, it's true. It was, that was just a tutorial, right? Your playthrough lasted two hours. Chosen timeline A. This run, you've solved four mysteries, 30 events, seven new enemies, six achievements. You're losing blood. Seek help. <laughs> All right, cool. And it just resets. <clears throat> Yo, World of Horror. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's... You know what? It's nothing that I was expect. I was not expecting this. I thought it was going to be more... Uh, 